Right. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to part three. So, um, where were we, Paul? What were we doing? You were up on the top of Ilkley Moor. Bar tap. Uh, you had rescued someone from the werewolves, or at least Stephen in wolf form had herded him towards you. Uh, Noah had warded this area quite visibly, actually. The wolves were seeing it going up. And now the three wolves are dashing towards you. But if someone wants to volunteer to make an awareness check, I can tell you something. Let's get a dice roll straight away. Who's the most Ooh. aware amongst us? I've got, I think I've got uh, some pluses well, in it. but Stephen, isn't it? Who? <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty aware. Yeah, give, give me one, I reckon, Graeme. I mean, That's Stephen's good. literally aware. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Difficulty 10. So what was your awareness? Uh, apparently I can't see anything. I know you can see this. You can see... Uh, no, you were probably busy talking to the prisoner. You're probably, not, probably not paying for the prisoner. The former prisoner of the werewolves, that is, yes, not your I'm prisoner. Distracted. Well, that might actually be the actually be the effect. So now you haven't really noticed an awful lot. Okay. Just to cl clarify, Paul, the ward is not one of the ones that damages; it's the ones that repulse. Yes. So it's just that he can't come in the area, rather than if they hit any, damages them. So they hit the ward and bounce off. Yeah. So you know they could push through at the cost of will. Yes, I do know they could push through. But, but do they, they know don't they can know that. No, yeah, they exactly. don't know that, or they don't seem to know that. <laughs> so they sort of stop short and start growling. I walk right to the edge of the board and say, I just say to them, your name's on the list, you're not coming in. <laughs> now, why don't you transform back to a human form and let's, let's be civil about this. One of them lets forth a howl. Okay. Since I'm in wolf form, would I recognize that as a call out or something else? It's more, how shall I put it? It's a loud declaration of location. Okay. All right. Summons. Uh, oh, okay. I. I me, since I'm still in wolf form, um, I will kind of, after he completes the howl, I will, you know, try to give out a whimper, indicating something is not right, something's wrong, ho hoping that they might be able to interpret that. Yeah. One of them does transform back into human form. So, So yes, rather than talking to a wolf, you're talking to a naked man. Ah, okay. Uh, Go on. Good evening. Um, it uh, seems you're out here hunting someone. Um, you can you explain? Our... Sorry, well, you, have, you have our quarry. Uh, we do. Um. Why is he your quarry? What's he done? He robbed the Alpha. Mm -hmm. He broke into his house. Uh, why did he do that? Was... Because he's stupid and didn't know what house it was. Right. So it was a misunderstanding. So you're just going to have punt him down for stupidity? We offered him a choice. Uh, which was? Join us or die. Not much of a choice, that, though, is it? Well, it's a very good choice. Well, a better mm -hmm. choice would have been a slap on the wrist and don't do it again. Or you'll have to join us and die. I bet he wouldn't come back. We're wolves. We don't slap people on the hit, hit, fist, on the fist, on the wrist. 
we tear people's throats out. Yes, but the problem with that is that when you go around doing that, it, it, comes, it comes to the attention, t attention of others and um, people come looking. It's not exactly subtle. Now, I appreciate that subtlety isn't exactly uh, within the uh, behavioural pattern of your average wolf, werewolf, but I'm sure you don't want the, no the attention. Or indeed, your pack leader wants the attention. <clears throat> I will be back. I will bring others. Well, we'll still be here, and we're quite we're quite willing to talk. We don't want a confrontation as such. And he, and he does. He does actually start walking away, turns back into wolf form, and starts running, leaving the other two here. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be like, how big? How big is this pack? How long is a piece of string? Yeah, it could twice the length of it is from the uh, <coughs> middle to the end. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Well, whilst we're waiting, we probably nest it. Better have a word with this quarry. Yeah, I want to know what he stole. Indeed. Yeah. I mean, if it's it's like a baby or something like that, well then you know. Yeah, I mean, are, are we talking stealing the Xbox or? Something a bit less mundane. No, he, was, he says he, he says was well, sort of true. I mean, I was nicking the telly. It's nice. It's nice. It's good TV. Smart TV. Wide screen. Fetch a few bob. Right. Okay. Hush. Summer top. You decided you, you you're a burglar. You decided to break in and steal the TV. You didn't. Yes, yeah, I did not expect to be overpowered tied up, stuffed in the back of a van, taken to a college of the wars, and given a choice to either become a monster or get hunted down. Now I suppose that's probably not not a, not, not, not within the, uh, the career path of your age, average burglar, uh, but then I'm not a criminologist. Nevertheless, um, uh, I know what you're saying. You're saying I've unmade, made unwise life choices. That's pretty clear now. <laughs> Bit of an understatement. Yes, yes, that, that, that is. But it's perfectly, perfectly a reasonable uh, re response to your current situation. So, uh, how many people? Are, uh, so you broke in. Didn't know it was anyone. Else, anyone was there. Yeah. And right. Hmm. Well, I'm not entirely sure what I mean, you do about this. I mean, the other thing is they've got three other prisoners. Hmm. Oh, that's an interesting point. Um, now, now, now you mention it. Um, Did, were they being uh, offered the same deal? Mm hmm. Well, it's weird. Two of them are, <laughs> but the other one, they just don't seem to notice. It's like they, they've ignored her. They're not feeding her. They don't even seem to notice her. Sorry, let's just talk about something. So you broke into the house, you were overpowered, and you were imprisoned in a room with four other prisoners? Oh, three other prisoners. Three other prisoners, three prisoners sorry. Together. Maybe yeah. she's one of theirs that's been disowned. And... Yes, yeah, so there's know. Leanna Jones, who's, well... Some sort of homeless girl. She's only in her teens, bless her. Right. Derek, Derek Carter is frankly a fucking psychopath. What? And then right. there's, uh, and then there's this girl called Car well, woman, we call her a girl called Caris Swan. What she's the one they don't even think. How long were they keeping you prisoner for? I've been there for five days. Right. I mean, they were feeding me at least. 
Well, it possibly sounds like they were feeding you up. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Well, what, you have to. Get... How are we going to get out of here? Well, yeah, never thought a... of that. <laughs> that is a difficult situation. Situation. Do you have any ideas on how to get get um, get get off the sticky wicket you find yourself on? Well, it looks like we're all in the same boat, doesn't it? No, no, I think you're in the same boat. I don't think we're in any particular danger because we could just let you down. I don't know. I don't know. I think they're going to hold a... I've, I've but the think... point is, what I'm, what I'm guessing at is, do you have any suggestions as to how what to deal with the problem you, you're you in? Oh, no. I'm, I'm bloody crapping myself. I have been throughout this. Excellent. All I could do is just put myself on your mercy. Okay, so this is what we need to do. I mean, if you need anything next, I could get it for you. Fantastic. Unfortunately, I don't. I don't know about any of my compatriots, but I'm not entirely sure that they do either. Oh, but I've got some nice laptops and stuff. If you want it. No, no, it's... you can track it by those. No, I think we're probably all right for laptops. Thank you very much. As as, as, as lovely as that offer is. Okay, so, um, so I've, I've got an idea. Go on. Okay, uh, Stephen, could you change the wolf form and make a break for it to, to, to the Range Rover? Drive the Range Rover down here and we can put it inside the ward with us. And then if anything gets in any way dodgy, we can just all get in the Range Rover and plow our way out. I, I'm still in wolf, wolf form, but I can understand what you're saying. Um, but... The scrape on the floor twice? Yeah, this is, this is scrape on the floor, and I'll, I'll, I'll wave my head like I know of it. There's an issue I, I have with that. So One pull for yes, two pulls for no? Mm, okay. Okay, so here's what I'll, I'll do my best. So yes, I'll, I'll one, I'll hit one paw for yes, but I'll kind of glare and growl at the two wolves remaining. I thought he still left. No, no there's two left. What? Yeah, Only one of them left. Hmm. So you're great. Is your power like gl glamour illusion? Yeah. Could you not fool them in some way so we can get past? I could uh, probably throw up some kind of illusion. Like an illusion of Stephen breaking that way, and then they all run after him, and then he runs the other way. I do think we're missing a point here. The point that I don't want to die is the biggest point of all. No, no. Um, I think you're missing a point about the capabilities of werewolves. Which is an amazing sense of smell. Yeah, but how can they track a car that's going really quickly? An, an illusion can full smell as well. All right. If but you stand enough then. will, anyway, yeah. Mm. Yeah, although perhaps an illusion of the prisoner trying to run away might be more effective. And, and mm. I will go up and, uh, um, you know, I'm going to paw, you know, the, uh, uh, the pocket his pocket wherever wherever you can have your keys in your waistcoat just kind of you know. but the prob the problem what is right they're gonna suddenly go from a human that they could easily outpace to a human that's gonna stay ahead of them the whole way that's why Stephen is the more more I don't want to say attractive option here but you know what I mean because they can't outpace him because he's another wolf wolves can then easily outpace humans then perhaps you're suggesting we put the glamour upon Stephen there. To make him look like... Indeed. Okay, so he needs to have the scent. So I'll turn to, turn to the guy and say, right, um, take your top off. Oh, bloody hell, I've been... It's like that bit in Pulp Fiction, isn't it? You know, well, run away from the bad thing and then run into the perverts. Fine, I'll take the <laughs> Zed. Mm. Yeah. 
Okay, so I'll go over and I'll drop it in front of Stephen as well for me. So that's got his scent on it. Of course, the bulls are sitting there saying, <laughs> look at each other going, did you know we can understand them? <laughs> yeah, that is, a, that is an issue, mate. You could possibly find a way to do that. I mean, they'll have seen him taking his top off. You could probably um, communicate in hushed tones. How, how good can you do... Because I don't know how the characters work. So, Sue, how well can you do illusions? Like, how good can they be? Uh, it depends how much will I spend and how good my art role is. Yeah, illusions are based on art, aren't they? You to make them how, like, like, could you make us invisible but make us look like we're still standing in a circle? I, I can make someone invisible, but only if they keep still. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Or I can make an illusion with sound and light the, that can move around. What do you mean you with that alpha look like? Oh, well, that was nice knowing you. <laughs> I mean, yous are going to die. Yous are going to starve to death. I've got a, a thermos of cold tea and some scampi flavour fries. Cause, cause and, they... I, and I will fight, and I will fight yous if you come with me. <laughs> with that, you can survive indefinitely. <laughs> I, I'm going to revert back to human you know, all of a sudden, and uh, I'll, I'll, I'm going to throw out, once I turn human, you know, covering my, my shame, I will throw out a suggestion. And, and you know, your, your grain, can you, and I, I'm going to walk over and kind of whisper it to you just to kind of keep it as, as you know, as secret as possible. Can you make, you know, illusions like gunshots and people coming from a distance? Pitchforks. So, so, something, some, something to distract or scare them because the, 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 only, the only way we're getting out of here is if I can get to that truck uh, or get to the, uh, the four by. And you know, use uh, uh, use Noah's idea to get get this get this thing back here because other they're coming soon. And more once they get here, we're not getting out of here. So we, we need to we need to figure something out rather quickly. Yeah, I I like that idea. Also, um, we did, do at least need to get some directions as to where uh, uh, our quarry here was being held. Mm -hmm. Oh, I could find it easily. As your quarry. Um, right. I'm sure you could find it. It might be useful if you told us. Well, shall we? Shall we leave and, and then worry about exactly where we're leaving to? So I, I I'll send another will and oh and before I do I, I will you know ask uh, uh, Henry uh, once I turn please give me your keys. So it'll do me no good to get to the four by and, and arrive without the keys. So I, what, what, what you can do is, is when I change, just, just I will hold it in my mouth. How delightful! Wolf spit on my, on, 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 on my keys. Well, if you've got a string, you could tie it round his neck. Yeah. I'll just turn to him and go, "That's what's bothering you." Wolf spit. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll spend a will and change back. And yeah, I'll just sit, mm. sit there. <laughs> I'll get the squeaky toy out. <laughs> Don't throw it. We know when he'll never come back. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. Why didn't you think of stick throwing as a way to get out? Oh shit! Yeah. Okay. So it sounds like. Yep. <laughs> so it sounds like we've got a plan. Okay. So... Very bad plan, okay. but we've got a plan. So, Agrain, say what you're doing for your illusion to distract them. Uh, I'm going to make an illusion of the sound of a 4x4 vehicle and uh, shotguns being fired in the distance okay. heading our way. That sounds like just one will, doesn't it? Something that's pure sound. Okay. But can I have a... Uh, I think I do need, however, an art check. Uh, yep. And they're reasonably canny, so it's art at difficulty 10. Can we assist in any way? Or is it enough? Not really, I don't see for this. Oh, okay. 
I'll just stand in her way so, you know, she's got to do hand gestures. I'm just standing yeah. in the way of between her and the, uh, the, um, the, the, the werewolves. Uh, apparently I'm quite good at that. That's a 14. Oh, excellent. I mean, if you want to spend one will, it's a critical success. Uh, yeah, I'd like to do that. Okay. So, this, with the critical success, means both of them are running off. One actually back in the direction the first wolf ran off in. The other back to wall, actually in the direction of the sounds. Capital. So I, I will, I have, uh, I will take off, you know, with, uh, you know, with a mouthful of keys and, uh, and make, make my way as fast as I can to the four five. Okay. So I want an athletics check with the plus two bonus because you're in wolf form and fast and stuff. Don't let us down, Scott. Can you re-roll that? You could spend will. Because, uh, of course, you've got... Because uh, you're going to need to get to ten. Okay. Ooh. That's, that's going to drain my will to zero. You can use uh, your well, drive once per day, though, can't you? Could you? Accept, I mean, I'll tell you what happens if you don't, which okay. is one wolf is waiting for you by the Land Rover. Mm. They've cut you off. And, and you've got no beer. You've got no uh, bottle of JD to like smash his head in with. Oh, I, I, that, that, I don't need Jack Daniels to smash his head in. That, that, oh, was, I that was just flourish. <laughs> yeah, that was um, an expensive flourish. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, I, I'll I'll go ahead and and, and spend the will, um, you know, to 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 get to the the four by. Okay, and then I do need a driving check because, of course, it's slightly difficult here. But more to the point, you want to do it quickly before the other wolves get here. This is literally like a dog driver the car, isn't it? Yeah. Scott, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm assuming you have tried it turned back to normal. Yes, I, I, I have. Yes, it's, it's pause reset the pedals. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank um, God it's an automatic. <laughs> yes, I, apparently I... Sorry, I, I, Cormatic. <clears throat> yeah, so, so yeah, my, my, my drive comes up as a six. Okay, I think you got stuck about, ooh, probably probably about 100 yards or so from the tour. Um, all right, I I assume it, this is evening or close to, to that, so I will... Uh, it's not, yeah. It's not, so I'm just going to start flashing my brights off and on, trying to signal them that... You know, this is as far as it's going to go. I, yeah, trying my best. Uh, so, right. I think we better make get, get down there. Yeah, time to make a run for it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think I'll do this one as a group roll. So it's athletics check. At, again at difficulty ten. Mm -hmm. For everyone who's still up there. Including the guy as well. Including the guy. But if you get a critical success, that counts for two successes. Not oh, my stuff. fucking God. <laughs> oh. However, James, you can have an experience point. If, well, we're not black. We're probably just playing for a one shot, but that would get you an experience point. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Failure is a reward. It's a, it's, it's a, basically, it's an I feel sorry for you all. Thanks. Can I spend? We're gonna make athletics, yeah. Yeah. Can I reroll at all? Can I spend like willpower or anything? Because I've got like. Uh, you could spend seven willpower to make it a ten. Oh my god, that would nearly wipe me out. Oh, look at that! Oh. It's a, it's a smoking starting to um. It's a fact me get out of breath. We failed. Are you spending one will suit to make it? Well, given that everyone else has failed, it doesn't seem worth it. That's true. <laughs> mm. 
I think, yeah, I mean, you are not going to make it. Okay, I'm going to stop and tell them to keep going, and I'm going to pull my gun out and just start shooting whatever's coming at us. Okay, so I think we're in a com I think we're in combat mode, unfortunately. I've got, I've got my drive. I'm doing my drive, which is a time for my cowardice. Okay, give me a D6. You, you can earn one D6 will back. I haven't spent any. Well, you would get experience then at this stage. So, what do you want me to roll a D6 then? No, don't, don't worry. Just mark oh. an experience point. Okay. Wow, well, I've got two experience. But yeah, I'm just going to stand yeah, there. Every... I'm just going to stand there and let them come at me. Okay. Yeah. So, you actually have a shot before they get to you. Okay. It's going to end, it's going to end badly, this, isn't it? Yeah, I reckon a PPK by nine. Oh, possibly five. Possibly yeah. five. Seven at this. I'm just going to say seven o'clock. Yeah. I do have a question, Paul. So my, my, my drive is vengeance against supernatural predators. You know, yes. see, seeing Aaron standing there alone, would I be able to roll to regain some will? Yes. Okay. Because I'm going to hopefully transform... But yes, I will leap out of the car, transform back into the wolf farm, and start rushing to go assist with Aaron while he's standing there. If I may. So uh, you said I get to shoot at them, yeah, before they get to me. Yeah, if you want to, make, if you want to make a shooting roll. I don't know if it's going to do anything, but sure. I've got twelve though. Oh yeah, that's that's good. Beautiful. You have certainly hit one. Do you want to give me damage? Yes. Not much damage, it's only D6. Oh, nine damage, though. Oh, that's pretty good. That one is quite hurt. That's literally the maximum damage I can get on a pistol. So, yeah, I've... So you have got four of them here. Sorry? It's four of them here. Four? And one who is bigger and greyer than the other. <coughs> Whatever. I'm just going to... I'm just standing there. I'm just... I'm just... I'm sacrificing myself for the for the good of my people. Cool. That means we don't have to. Okay. So, what are other people doing? Um, I'm legging I, it to the car. Yeah, I'm legging it to the car because basically I know it's our only way out, and I can drive, probably attempt to drive the car back up here. Uh, since I have a modicum of the drive skill. Yeah. A, a grain. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be running for the car as well. Oh, I've got an okay. idea. Yep, you three can get to the car. It leaves, of course, Aaron and Stephen facing the wolves. Well, luckily, Stephen is a wolf, so... <laughs> can I have a initiative now? So can both you, both, both of you, make awareness checks? Yeah. I get plus two at this as well. Yes, you do. You're quick. I've got a nine. Ooh. Oh, hang on. I didn't add awareness. Uh, I've actually got 11. 11 is... 11 is actually... Beast. 11 is what you need to beat them. So what did you get, Stephen? Uh, 14. Excellent. You are both going first, then. Okay, okay so Scott, what you're doing? Um, so I'm, you know, full steam. I'm just going to leap over Aaron and just, just essentially just dive into the one that I saw that he just shot. Oh, okay. You fucking still kill, kill stealer, you. Yeah, I know, and he gets all the XP as well. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> right, give me, give me, a, give me a roll then. Okay. Uh,
that is just good enough that's exactly what you need and give me damage and another 10 bloody hell that is one wolf who is not moving Right. I, just... I mean, like other werewolves, it's got rapid healing unless you're getting your its bane. So, mm -hmm. I have shot, but it, an ordinary being in that situation would not recover. It will recover, but it's certainly out of action. You fucking kill right. stealer. Okay, James. It's a, it's it's not an ex wolf. It has not ceased to be. Yeah. Um, I'll yeah. turn my attention to. I feel like I should shoot the big one, but I feel like that might be like a bad idea. But I'm just going to shoot the big well, one. The big one is hanging back and letting the others get stuck in. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll shoot the one that's closest to me or com coming right for me. Okay. Yeah, give me a roll. It's a difficulty 10. 15 is a critical if you're close to that. I've got 11. Okay, that's a hit. Unless you want to spend four will and make it a critical. What would a critical do? Double damage. No. Actually, fuck it, yeah. I'll spend four and make it critical. So it'll be what? 2d6 plus six? Yep. It'll be 2d6 times two, wouldn't it? Double damage? Well, yeah, 2d... Well, roll the d6 twice, it's fine like that. Is it just that? Well, okay. All right, uh, 15 damage. Bloody hell. Okay, so that's one of them that's just gone down. There's only one of them left. And... I think he's going for you. I think he's committed now. Who's he going for? You. Oh, okay. Do I get to defending combat? So, yes, you do. So, can I have uh, either athletics or melee combat? Says so I can use. Me... Uh, it says add plus two to your awareness <laughs> skills for initiative and any skill you use defending combat, whether hand to hand yep. or ranged <laughs> combat. Oh, well, I'll do melee combat. So what are you going for? Okay, oh. so that would be give me a roll at difficulty twelve, and it's plus four as well, I think. Oh, 11. I'm spending a willpower. That seems sensible. Yep. So you avoid your head getting torn off. The alpha, or the one hanging back, you assume it is, is almost, I suppose... I don't know, you'd say chuckling. As much as that makes sense in wolf form. <coughs> and then vanishes over sort of a little, sort of, well, I suppose, a, well, say vanishes over a hill, vanishes over, you know, where this, these moors are not let level. And actually is running after the car or the Land Rover. Whilst we're basically going <laughs> down the hill. Yeah. So, I mean, you made it. So you've made it there. They have bought you the time. Excellent. I will leap into the driver's seat. Yes. I'll just uh, wait, 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 wait. And I'll do a, um, a ward, a quick ward on the bonnet of the car to ward, uh, repel werewolves. Yes. Um, and I'll use crew but effective. Yep, yeah, yeah, that I mean that's what you'll need to get it done in time. Yep. What do I need to roll? Yeah, give me a law check, because it's a bit strained. Does your four by have leather or cloth seats? Tweed. Uh <laughs> <Is that> Tweed. <laughs> 
Sweet. Well, just, just <laughs> because just a few minutes, you know, a few seconds earlier, a, a naked sweaty man was sitting on there driving it towards you. So just to uh, make you aware. Tweed. Um, we got C. Paul. Yes. Do I get a bonus to this because I've tapped into the local? Yes, the you local do. Stones. You've got a bonus. You basically any time you spend will, you get a plus two bonus rather than a so, plus one bonus. Plus plus five to be rolled from law. Yeah. I've got law three. Okay, give me it. You failed her? Oh, hang on. Yeah, yeah, you don't need the plus. Yeah, don't add the plus. Yeah, I forgot. All right, it's been a week. Nine. You're one short. Okay, I'll have to blow Will then, won't I? Yeah. Um, so it cost me three Will to cast that. Yes. I've only got three Will left. No. Right, can I use my drive? To gain D6 will, the drive being I want to prove that magic is a force for good and the fact that I've put a re repulsion ward rather than a does them damage ward. Oh, oh yeah, go on, I'll take that. Yeah. Oh, Marvellous. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so that like it shimmers for a second as a symbol and then it vanishes. I said, yeah. right, that'll get them out the way at least, and I'll just, I'll get in the car. Right. Yes. Okay. I will be driving back in the direction of uh, um, uh, our, our police inspector Kaminsky and um, our werewolf. Okay. I need to go pick them up. So another couple of werewolves that will nearby. Just basically almost get bounced out of the way by the ward. Okay, so over to you guys. So you've got a choice. An athletics check at difficulty eight to quickly get in the car. Or you could carry on scrapping. I mean, there's only one of them left. There might be reinforcements coming, but there's only one at the moment. If we pull right up to them, is it going to push the wolves away? You what could leads, try that. Um, it will require a driving check, and there's a risk of maybe injuring your people if you're not precise. How Don't good are you at driving, Pookie? I have a skill of two. That's not that bad. Mm. Well, you could blow a will to succeed it, couldn't you? I possibly could. Is that what you're doing, then? Yes. Okay, give me a drive roll. Or vehicles roll, rather, isn't it? Vehicles roll, and yes. Oh, God, that is perfect. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, yeah, basically, stop with this, like, you know, stop perfectly. As this basically, drive straight out in front of them, stop right in front of them, as this werewolf sort of, like, goes somersaulting out in the air, out of yeah. their vision. So you can be uh, right in the car and be gone, Aaron and Stephen. That's what you want. Yep. I'll open up the back so I'll open up the back so that the where the wolf can get in the uh, boot of the car. No, okay. I'm joking, I'm joking. Uh, gentlemen, we are leaving. Okay. So yeah, I mean I will literally, you know, change as I'm maneuvering to the car. So and then, then try my best to, to leave in whatever <laughs> whatever seats open. No no knowing full well that we've we've left my clothes at the at the back of the hill, so well, our burglar's going to need one of the seats. <laughs> mm. He can go in the boot. <laughs> so Haven't you got one of those dog things in the boot for Stephen? <laughs> yes. Yes, I have. <laughs> Is it <he> caged? <laughs> um, no, it's not yeah. caged, because I've well, never kept that kind well, of dog. I reckon we would probably have a spare set of clothes for Stephen in the back of in in the in the in the boot of the car, just I because. That it's like, uh, let's face it, this is not the first time this has happened to you, right. is it? Yeah. The tracksuit or something like that, he can just. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's a, it's a shell mean, suit. If you have to change in a hurry, tearing through your clothes. Come on, you've got to have a. <laughs> Absolutely. So do I still need to make an athletics check or did No 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 the okay, drive is so perfect. Boom. Cool. I I'm I'm in the uh, uh I'm in the four by. Right. So apart yeah, from getting go 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 go. You know, just go. 
Really? I mean, this is not what I'm doing now? There's more no. coming. Yes. Um, I am now leaving. We are now leaving the moor. Now, what I need is a set of directions after we leave the moor. Don't... Well, it's just that cottage down there if you want to go to the place. Yeah. Looks like most of them are probably out. Excellent. Well, let's head there then. I'm just breathing. I'm sweating heavily. I'm like, I'm like, you know, I probably saw my life flash, you know, flash past my very eyes, not more than ten seconds ago, and I'm gonna be like, I need a fucking drink. So I'm gonna pull out a hip flask. Hey, would you? Would you? <laughs> sorry. Uh, okay, fair enough. Uh, hey, Grain, would you reach into the glove compartment? You'll find you'll find a hip flask there if you pass it to the police inspector in the back. I'll, I'll pass it over. <laughs> Would you like some chamomile tea with that? It's very calming. I'll just start guzzling the uh, whatever's in there. It's probably brandy, isn't it? <laughs> uh, yes. Why, why, why do I feel that Henry is like, before he even starts the car, he's like, one second, he's on this Tom Tom, you know, a very dated GPS trying to put in the coordinates to drive there before, and we're still sitting there. <laughs> Henry doesn't know what Tom Tom is. Remember, he's from no, the 1800s. Sorry, remember, he's from the 19th do remember, century. Do you, do you remember the, the Ordnance Survey map from last week? Yeah, <laughs> this implies he's not using electronic navigation. Yes. The thing is, Ordnance Survey maps don't run out of batteries, do they? Yeah. Is this true? <laughs> right, I'll go. I know what this needs. I'll pull into me to be top and go here. It's going to be flavour for price. I'll pass them around. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not whilst I'm driving. Yeah, I'll take one. Yeah, one. I'll, I'll squeeze the bag so we can't take it. Are you fucking yeah. tight? You get about bastard. five in a bag anyway, don't you? <laughs> Chambers of Roleplay right. brought to you uh, by Smith's Scampy Fries. I uh, pour myself a cup of tea for me thermos. It's probably still nice and warm, isn't it? Yeah, yeah we've not been out for very long. <laughs> yeah, I. I... I hate to say it, Noah, but I mean, I've been keeping track of the scampy fries. You've only got two packets left. <laughs> that, that's fine. I bought six. So. Yeah. Right. Uh, we're heading for this cottage. You are heading for the cottage, which is one of these ones with, you know, the sort of moorland type cottages. It's got five sort of... Gr it, five? It's got grey stone walls. It's pretty isolated. There's no other buildings nearby. You can see a single wolf roaming outside. Okay. Can we tell if he's noticed us? I mean, I, are we driving full board to this thing? Or, or, or Henry, are you kind of like trying to I guess, drive sneakily? Well, I don't you worry. You can't, you can't come near the car. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, well, it lasts it's till, the... till sunrise. Okay. Um, I'm driving. I look, it's... it's um, I'm driving with a moderate amount of care because uh, it's off-road. It's an off-road car. Yeah. <laughs> How you engaged the two? Mm. Um, well, I, I mean, I, I'll go ahead and volunteer that I, I might be possibly may be able to sneak up and take take out the wolf. Okay. Um, well, it's quite possible we could actually just ram him and use the wall to knock him out of the way and uh, then you go after him. Makes sense. That, 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 that'll that work. Um, it's not like I'm actually going to ram him, mm -hmm. uh, which I really object to with this car. Trying yeah, to get I mean, wolf, wolf hair wolf out of the it. gorilla is such a pain. <laughs> I think you could certainly... Getting bounced out of the way, I mean, with the ward on them. But let's see what happens. Do you want to make a driving check? I can, but try. It will be difficulty 10. Oh. Okay. I will spend a couple of points of will for that. Yeah. So, okay. So I think we're in a situation where we've got, I suppose, wolf frozen in the headlights type feeling. 
Absolutely. is not to side. Sort of stunned. Doesn't touch anything. The Very awards are great, aren't they? You really <laughs> are. Stephen, I think. Okay, so doing your bit. You're muted. So yeah, so I, I will open the door, leap out in wolf form, and just just rush at this uh um, you know, this this lone wolf and try to try to take him out further. Okay, give me a give give me a melee check at difficulty ten. It's going to be quite he's stunned, so it's slightly easier than usual. So, yes, I think I'm going to make you do non ordinary damage, just to see if you've got enough. So, he's hurt. I mean, I think at this stage, you know, he's been nearly run over as far as he's concerned. Suddenly pounced on. He is just gives the sort of <clears throat> subdual, subdual whimper. You know, he is surrendering. Okay. Yeah, so fair enough. I'll just I'll, I will stand above him as bulky as I can and just continue to grab. Yeah. And just give, give a couple barks, turn my turn my head back, and give a couple barks back at the four by, indicating that you know, once again, the best that I can, that it's all clear. You know, it's times like this, I always feel like I should be throwing with a dog biscuit, but that seems awfully rude. <laughs> <laughs> a, a loud growl. <laughs> I'll get the squeaky toy out just in case. <laughs> You're pushing it. I may have to roll for that soon. So, so how far away from the stones is this place? A couple of miles. Is it within my kind of area? It's within your geomancy area, but not within yeah. your ward area. Okay. Right. Okay. Um, okay. I'm thinking, James, is this a good time for a break? Yes, this would be a good time for a break. Yeah? All right. Well, yeah. we'll be back in about five or ten minutes. So, don't touch that doll. And if you're enjoying this, remember to like and subscribe on the YouTube video. Thank you very much.